Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about some angsty romances. All 10 of these books are full of angst between these two characters, which I know a lot of people like myself enjoy to read about. So let's get into these 10 recommendations. First, I have a duet. This is the Beautiful Hearts duet by Emma Scott. The first one being um, Bring Down the Stars and the second one being Long Live uh, the Beautiful Hearts. So Emma Scott is like the queen of writing duets, I swear. I'll highlight this first one more. So. The heroine of the story gets in a relationship with this guy. He's like a jock, okay? But <laughs> she doesn't know that these beautiful text messages and poems that this boyfriend of hers is sending her is actually from that friend's roommate who she actually met before her boyfriend. And so it's a love triangle between all three of them and it spans into book number two. So it's definitely angsty like all three of these characters are going through things are feeling feelings for each other so yeah these two men are definitely into our heroine but you can kind of read the series you know who she's gonna end up with but there's still this part of the book that has you just gripping the edge of your seat wanting to know what happens because you never know you never know so um i love this duet it is full of tension and angst between like all three of these characters i have another duet for you this is the best kept secret duet by candy Siner. this is book number two um book number one is what he doesn't know another love triangle if you will but you don't know who this heroine is choosing in the end there's that um so our heroine of the story she is in a relationship she's married and um her marriage is not going well she is very sad very depressed is not happy with her life at the moment she works at a school she's a teacher and then there's new person that is hired and it just happens to be her like high school boyfriend first crush first everything and he kind of sparks this love back in her for life but then the heroine's husband come like comes back to win his woman back so um these three characters again love triangle and there's angst galore in here i was like dying to figure out what happened dying to know who she picked like it was, it was stressful honestly reading the series is stressful but i think it was worth it in the end i love who she picked at the end in both these books you have no idea what's going on you have no idea who she's gonna pick but i love who she picked at the end but this series is so dramatic it is so dramatic i have not picked up book number three yet so i need to do that let me know if i should do that let me know but if you want another angsty duet this one this is one to pick up. Welcome to the Dark Side by Jana Darling is my next one. Sorry for the glare. A few of these have shiny covers, so you're gonna get the glare from my lights. This is the second book in the Fallen Men series by Jana Darling. It's actually the only book I've read in the series. I know I'm, I'm a criminal. I haven't read more of this series before. I know that I need to. I know. Um, I own book number one. I need to get to it. But I love this one so much. So this is about Zeus and Lou. There is this ginormous age gap. I think like 16 years between the two of them. Let's just say Zeus's kids are the same age as Lou. These two characters meet when Lou is a little girl. Zeus actually ends up saving her life during a shooting, but he also commits a crime at the same time. And so he goes to jail and they actually become kind of like pen pals. She writes letters to him while he's in jail. Um, but then Lou starts developing these not so appropriate thoughts about this man. So it's definitely forbidden. And when Zeus gets out of prison, she's gonna try so hard to make this motorcycle man fall in love with her and zeus is trying to resist at every point in turn there's also this inner battle in his mind of like this girl is so young i can't be doing this but then he starts like developing these real feelings for her so there's this angst going on in his mind but then there's also this angst between these two characters it's really good if you want like a good taboo forbidden read i definitely recommend this one forget me not by julie soto is my next one this is a second chance romance where present day chapters are all in the heroine's point of view and then the flashbacks to when these two first met and got together are all in the hero's point of view so i loved that perspective so in present day our heroine um got this amazing job she is a wedding planner and she like got a gig to plan the wedding of the season apparently she needs like the best florist there is and it's our hero who she hasn't spoken to in a while because they have a history throughout the book you're trying to figure out what happened in their past why don't they talk anymore what is going on why is all this tension heavy between the two of them when they're in the same room and it is so worth it it's so worth it these two are so good they're so hot i love them 
so much. I feel like a classic one is Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. <laughs> I feel like this is such a gateway two angsty romances. Um, so our heroine of this story, she is dating this guy. He's not the best boyfriend. He's not the best guy. He's not good for her, but she doesn't know that. Okay. Um, anyway, they have to find somewhere to live because they can't afford to live in their apartment anymore. The hero's dad, who he's kind of estranged from, tells him like, hey, how about you come move in with me? And so they come and stay with Pike, who is this heroine's boyfriend's dad. This is the romance with our heroine and Pike. So the boyfriend's dad. These two start developing feelings for each other with this forced proximity because they live in the same house, but then they end up getting to know each other more and falling in love. Like, I love this book. I feel like it's such a classic. And there's obviously angst between these two characters. They're trying to fight their feelings, like hardcore, because number one, the age difference. And number two, like that's her boyfriend's dad. And in retrospect, also, that's his son's ex-girlfriend or girlfriend, whatever you want to call it. There is definitely angst between these two. More of an underrated one is On the Island by Tracy Garvis Graves. This is another age gap kind of flipped, however, because our heroine is the older one. The hero ended up missing a few years of high school or a year of high school, I think, because he got cancer. He's in remission now, he's feeling better, and his parents are very wealthy and hire the heroine to become his tutor, I think over the summer to get him caught up on everything he needs to know that he missed in school. And so the two of them are gonna go meet his family at somewhere. I think they're like going on summer vacation and they are gonna bring the tutor with them. They didn't know each other very well, like at all. Um, but then the plane that they're on crashes, the pilot dies, are the only two survivors on this like deserted island. Um, and this book takes place through years of them surviving on this island together. And at first, no romantic feelings whatsoever. This kid is a kid, like he's a minor. He's like, what, like 16 or something? Like no real feelings start between the two of them until he is like older. I think he's like 19 or 20. So they have been on this island for years trying to survive together. There's obviously some taboo aspects going in here because she is significantly older than him. The fact that she's his tutor, but they cannot not like fight their feelings. Like they can't help it. A fantasy one that I love is A Heart of Blood and Ashes by Mila Vane. Ooh, I feel like this is like the angstiest fantasy romance book like I've ever read. I love this one. This is the romance between Yvonne and Matic. Matic is this barbarian warrior guy. He's in charge of all these warriors in this fantasy realm and his parents are killed. And he thinks that this woman, Yven, there's a rumor going around that she is responsible for their deaths. She ends up finding him before he's able to find her. He's gonna track her down and try and kill her, but she finds him first and is like, hey, I just wanna let you know, I did not kill your parents, but I know who did, it's my father. And I would like to help you get back at him because I hate him. Um, So let's get married and then take his throne. Let's do it. And so he's like, okay, I don't trust you, but your plan does make sense. So I'll marry you, but um, I'm gonna keep you at a distance. I'm like gonna keep my eye on you because I still think you're responsible for killing my parents. These two are so explosive together. Their chemistry is off the charts. These two are like dying to be with each other, but they won't let themselves. I have to bring back like an oldie but a goodie. This is Lover Awakened by J.R. Ward. This is the third book in her um, Black Dagger Brotherhood series. Many people's favorites in the series, which it's one of my favorites as well. Um, this is the romance between Zadist and Bella. This is a vampire romance series, by the way, with like Secret Society of Vampires. And then you have this Black Dagger Brotherhood, which is a group of vampire males who are tasked to protect the vampire race from these creatures. They're kind of like zombies a little bit. Anyway, so Zadis and Bella's relationship is this one. Bella is this like, like almost perfect looking vampire, has her whole life ahead of her, and she ends up falling for Zadis, who is the tortured bad boy, if you will, of the Black Dark Brotherhood. He's very quiet, stoic, is a scarred hero, has dealt with a lot of trauma in his life. Who his backstory is absolutely devastating. So even though these feelings are starting to develop for Bella, he is keeping himself at a distance, removing himself from her life because he knows like, I cannot bring my damaged past into this sweet creature's life. Like that is not going to happen. But Bella doesn't care. Bella's like, I think we're meant to be together and I want you to stop fighting me. So I love these two so much. It's one of my favorites in the Black Dark Brotherhood series. And I know it's other people's favorites as well. And lastly, I have two historicals and they remind me of each other so much. Um, first is again, The Magic by Lisa Clay Bessies. This one is so angsty. Okay, so this one is about Aileen and McKenna. They 
were together when they were younger. I want to say like teenagers. Um, but she is the daughter to a very wealthy titled man and he is the stable boy. And when her father found out, he's like, if you don't cut this off, I'm basically going to kill him. And so she has to break McKenna's heart in order to save his life. And he goes to America afterward after a broken heart, becomes wealthy, comes back to England and is going to get justice on what Aileen did to him. He doesn't know everything that Aileen has like endured since he's been gone and all that she's gone through and that she essentially saved his life. He wants justice for what she did. He wants her to suffer. And so it's kind of a little bit like, kind of like a bully aspect in here. And then when he figures out what happened, he is like, groveling his butt off but there is all the angst between these two for sure and then another historical that really reminds me of again the magic is nobody's duke by scarlet scott this is the first book in her league of duke series um we have her single mom heroine in here and our hero who has been tasked to be her bodyguard because her husband was recently murdered by this group of dangerous men in england and the people who assigned him this job have no idea that he and the heroine have a past. They actually lived on estates next to each other. Their families were rivals though, um, but they would sneak off to be together. And they had this whole grand plan of running away together when they were younger, but they think that the other person betrayed them in some way. And they've always like hated the person ever since. And so they're having to come back in contact after all these years. Very similar to Again the Magic in my eyes, um, but it definitely has its own unique qualities. Like the heroine is a single mom now. And the fact that he's also her bodyguard is an added like like angsty, tension-filled aspect because they have to be in first proximity. Anyways, there you have it. There's some angsty romance recommendations. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me any heart emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.